you guys, it's your girl T. So I want to go ahead and shout out my girl Ruth Acosa. And she's one of my UK subscribers. She's one of the first ones to let me know about this story that's going viral, honey. So what's going on is that there were four beautiful black women and they tried to get into this club in London. I do not know how y'all pronounce this club. It looks like a big ass acronym, but I'm going to just call it the skirt. If y'all know the name and know how to pronounce it, please let me know. I'm not from London, so I don't know. But anyhow, they tried to get into the club. And initially, before they even went to the club, the promoter said that he needed to have pictures of all the girls that were coming to the club. So the girl sent the promoter the pictures and initially he said, you know, they looked fine, they looked okay. And then when they got to the club, the person at the door decided that one of the girls was too fat and too black and he would not allow any of them to come in. So when this story hit the internet, of course, folks was mad. Folks was up in their feelings. And then she posted proof of her and the promoter going back and forth. And he's basically saying that they mainly want light skin or biracial girls in the club or white girls. They didn't want too many black girls, let alone dark skin girls in the club. So this is causing a lot of controversy, but what's even more crazy today, grab your teacups, honey, because Ruth don't put me up on game. Damn, this tea is good. So what happened today is that basically Karachi done got harassed. She was due to go to the club, and um, basically they had been protesting all night saying that Karachi should not go to this club because of how they treat dark-skinned women. And so they were standing in front of the club protesting, and basically folks were going off on Karachi. I want y'all to watch this short clip. I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. All right, so you guys just saw that clip of folks going off on Karachi for going to the club. So let me start by saying this because some of you want to know my opinion on the situation because I am a dark skinned honey myself. You know, and by this situation, I'm just not surprised. If you guys think this is only happening in the UK, y'all need to wake up. I moved out here to LA, and I will be honest, they do not play when it comes to their clubs out here. And my girls party all the time in New York, and they told me the same thing. They do not play when it comes to clubs in New York. Is it fair? No, it's not. Is it okay? No, it's not. But it's the way of the world. They used to do the same thing with Studio 54. If you weren't, you know, what they were looking for, you could have stood in line for four hours, honey. But if you were not what they were looking for, they would turn you around. You could not get up in the club. That's how it is now. When I wanted to do my birthday celebration, as you guys all know, I'm a lovely Leo, honey. And so when I wanted to do my birthday celebration and I got in contact with the promoter, before he would even talk to me, the first thing he tells me is, what is your Instagram page? I'm like, my Instagram page? What does that have to do with anything? You know, what, is my money not good here? And he was like, no, no, we need to know what you look like. So I sent him my Instagram page. He said, well, your page is blocked. I said, well, honey, I don't know you. And he was like, well, you have to add me as a friend. We have to see you. And so I added him as a friend, and he went through all my pictures. And he's like, okay, you're pretty. You got a nice shape. So then he goes, well, what do your girls look like? I'm like... You know, this is kind of personal. What you trying to say? He's like, well, your girls have to be on point. If not, they can't get into the club. And I'm like, well, on point how? He was like, they need to be beautiful, you know, preferably thin. We just don't really let big girls in the club. Like, he kept it 100. And I was just thinking to myself, like, damn, they don't do this in the Midwest, but who's really partying like that in the Midwest? Like, you're not going to just run into Justin Bieber or, you know, Chris Brown. But at certain clubs, especially out here in LA, there are celebrities in these clubs. So they want, like, the baddest of the baddest, I guess, in the clubs. And that's how it is in New York as well so whereas if you're like in a smaller town if you're like in a Minneapolis or in the Midwest or you know down south they may not be as strict but when you go to like certain areas you know bigger clubs especially clubs that have names they're going to be more strict and like I said it's not fair but at the end of the day you have the right to either patronize that club or to not patronize that club and if you feel like what they're doing is discriminatory and that it's not fair then don't beg somebody to take your money take your money and go elsewhere go you know start your own club or go party somewhere else but these rules are not going to change even if they try and clean it up and play it off it's still going to be them choosing who comes into these clubs and who doesn't you know so folks need to be aware of that while I think that all four of these girls are beautiful 
beautiful. I didn't see any fat girls in that crew. Yes, they may have not been stick thin skinny, but these girls were still beautiful. They were well dressed, their hair were done, they looked well groomed. So I think that, you know, that was kind of father that got turned away, but I'm just not shocked. You know what I'm saying? And people need to be very aware of this. This is just how it's going on nowadays. When you try and get a table, when you try and, you know, do VIP, they literally want to know what you look like, you know? So. I feel bad for them, but at least this is sparking a dialogue and maybe it will spark some change. But I think that it sucks that people can just be discriminated based on the fact that they're, you know, dark skinned or based on the fact that they're not as thin as other people. But again, it's the world that we're living in. Everything is just so superficial nowadays. So anyways, you guys, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping, honey. Let me know what you guys think about this entire situation. Have you been in this situation before? Have you ever been turned away from a club? Me, personally, I've never been turned away. Thank God, because I ain't trying to, you know, go through that embarrassment. But, you know what I mean? In the event you have, you know what I mean? Let me know your story. Let me know what the hell went down and what did you do about that? I know a lot of guys who have been turned away for wearing baggy clothes and things like that. But as a female, have you ever been turned away? And then how do you feel about what happened to these women? Do you think that it's okay? You know what I'm saying? Or do you think that this is just the way the world is to be expected? Or do you feel like, you know what, we should just take our money and spend it elsewhere? where why beg a club to let you in if they're not going to let you into the club and then also have you ever been to any of these clubs out here in LA or New York where they're very very strict on who gets in so let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment all right deuces hey you guys it's your girl T make sure to subscribe like and share my videos you can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise also don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos talk to y'all later deuces